Hey guys, so Robin and I are headed up to a wedding in Vermont this weekend, and uh, along the way we decided to stop in upstate New York to visit my parents. I'm here with my father, and uh, my dad is actually a collector of vintage Mustangs, and we are headed over to his garage right now to check out the cars, and I'm letting him drive my car, so maybe he'll let me drive his cars. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really an even trade. I won't tell you which end. <laughs> Secret codes. We're gonna take a look at all three of his cars. This is a 1966 Mustang Convertible, color is springtime yellow with a white top, which is rather unique because most of the springtime yellow cars were ordered and came with black tops. Uh, it's all original, right? This is approximately 95% original paint, uh, original sheet metal. I had a top replaced in 2006 and I had the motor detailed also in 2006. It has a power top, it has power steering, automatic transmission, uh, black vinyl interior, and AM radio, which if you're familiar with the old AM radios locally, I can get five quality stations. <laughs> That's about it. The radio still works. Uh, power steering. Those are the only options on the car. This was the first one that you got? This was my first car from the 60s that I bought. So interesting fact is that my first car was a Mustang. I had a 1989 hatchback that my dad got for me in high school. And my dad's first car was also a Mustang. And what was, which was your first one? My first Mustang was a 1970 Mustang. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how I got involved with the... Uh, Mustang collection hobby, so to speak. Uh, I was on the service at the time, and I was stationed at Fort Hood, Texas in the Army, and uh, two of my uh, comrades came back from Vietnam, and they immediately went out and bought Mustangs. So that's how I got introduced to uh, the Mustang legend, so to speak. The interior, as you can see, is all original. Nothing has been changed or touched since the car was manufactured. All right, tell me about this engine. Okay, now as you can see, the engine has been pulled. It was pulled in 2005, and I had everything redetailed back to 1966 specifications, color-wise. Almost an all-original car. I want people to see the exact condition the car was. We also have uh, factory paint marking from Ford, which was a factory stamp. It's all on the other, another part of the hood, and too. It's also on the firewall back here. So those are original factory markings. I didn't want to have that disturbed. I'd rather have it just as it is. And it gives the car a certain character. You know what you're looking at. You can appreciate the little dings, scratches, blemishes. This is not about being perfect. Correct. It's an unrestored car to some degree, except for the engine department. All of my dad's cars are extremely beautiful, but this one, for me, I love the color, and uh, he'll tell you more about it, but this one is, it's his newest one, and it's really eye-catching. This is a 1968 Mustang Coupe. Color is Brittany Blue. This car is an original car with one repaint. I had seen this car about four years ago I was first brought into a friend's shop, and the paint was really, really in bad condition. 
with no rust. It was uh, just needed some tender, loving care. So the owner of the car decided to repaint it back to its original color. It has 48,000 original miles. <clears throat> Along with that, the engine was detailed. So what you have here is a near perfect example of a car that underwent a restoration but still maintained its originality. And that's what attracted me to it, number one. It handles like a dream, has a lot of power, nice sounding dual exhaust, which is a little bit more a departure from my other two cars. It's a nice quiet tone. But, uh, so this has a nice little rumble to it. Feature. Unfortunately, many people, what they do is they put a radio in it, which, to my view, destroys the originality of the car. You're a purist. I'm a purist. <laughs> I like cars to maintain their originality the way they were back in, in this case, 1968. All right, so we're covering the Brittany Blue car up, and all I'm going to say is if you thought the first two cars were beautiful and amazing, get ready for the last one because it is uh, really something special. And uh, that's all I can say. You have to wait to see it. And here it is. Okay, what we have here is probably the uh, one of the nicest unrestored vehicles you'll ever find in the line of Mustangs. This is a 1966 coupe. It features the very rare color Ember Glow, which was only made in one year for a Ford Motor Company, that being 1966. It was for Mustangs and T-Birds, and a few Galaxies were thrown in also. Uh, what's unique about this car is it's low mileage, just turned 34,000 miles. It's been a collector owned his entire life. I'm the fifth documented owner. As I say, it's completely unrestored. And to find an unrestored car today, <clears throat> it's like winning the lottery, as far as I'm concerned. And it's original paint, never been touched, no other regular maintenance items. Tires, belts, batteries, spark plugs, everything is original as it was in 1966. Interior, spotless. Radio still works. This car was ordered with a limited slip differential, a special handling package, a special accent group along the side of the car. This car won something special recently. Yes, it did. Well, back in 2006, this car was awarded one of the highest honors that could be bestowed upon an automobile. It won first place in a national Mustang show. In 2016, it was the winner in the Hemmings Concourse Yelegan show, which uh, was classed with 12 other uh, vehicles. It was an unrestored class. They call it preservation class. And fortunate enough, it was fortunate enough to win. And it's in actually the most recent magazine. If you pick up the September issue? September issue of Classic yeah. Car Magazine. There was a four page spread on this car. Amazing. Uh, it's hard to believe, but I've seen cars on national shows with 4,000, 5,000 miles, 1966 but, era. But, but you drive the cars. Yeah. So can we take this one out? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> There's no seat belts in this car. There are? I don't. Oh, well, I should, maybe I should put it on. No. No, you're a safe driver? I'm a safe driver. <laughs> the 
this car have a radio? Yes, it does. Can we get some tunes. Oh, definitely. <laughs> today and uh, well, it's my turn to drive. 